How to rank on Google without a website. Quick and easy tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can rank on the top search results for Google and how you can establish your business without having to create a website. So let's get into it. Now, creating a website has been simplified a lot. You can create one for free using Wix. However, some people just don't have the time or expertise to create a website. And if you are just launching a business, let's say you're launching a lash studio or you're launching any kind of business, it might be just very difficult for you to establish your business or to create a business website. So for that purpose, I recommend that you create a Google My Business listing as I have created one over here. Now you can easily create your Google My Business listing using the location that you have. You don't need to add any kind of website URL or domain name. It's absolutely for free, so you don't have to pay anyone or do anything. And it's very simple to set up. Now I have a detailed video on how to set up your Google My Business listing, but in this video, I will give you guys a overview and some expert tips on how to get your listing to actually rank on Google. So let's get into it. Now, the first tip that I have for you guys is when you are setting up your specific location or your business, making sure that your location is added correctly because a lot of the time you try to, you know, navigate to a certain place using Google Maps and you're not able to find the location correctly. So that can be annoying for a lot of customers and customers are very, very often deterred by incorrect locations. So make sure whenever you are zooming into the location that you mark the correct building. So that is very essential because according to the building that you have marked, the Google navigation will actually direct your customers to the gate of that building. And that is super essential to make sure it's accurate. The second tip that I have for you guys is to make sure that you are in the right business category. Now, this is super essential, especially the primary business category. Now, this is just a sample listing that I created for you guys. And you can see over here, it is named as a beauty salon. So it's very essential that you put in the primary category that fits your business. Now, for this, you can always click on edit profile and you will see your business category. And this is the information that is super essential. So you can change this later on and you can add multiple different categories, but make sure that it illustrates the purpose of your business very clearly. Now, why do I say that this is so essential? The reason for that is if someone searches for beauty salons near me and then if I list beauty salon as my primary category, then I will rank higher in those search results. However, if I rank myself as a hair salon, I won't rank in beauty salon. I will rank lower in beauty salon. So that is why it is essential to put in your primary business category to be as accurate as possible. So I am primarily trying to set this up as a eyelash salon where I can do eyelash extensions, eyelash extension removal, refills, everything related to semi-permanent lashes. So I will add eyelash salon. However, as any business would, you provide other services as well. So if you provide other services, you want to make sure to add other categories such as haircuts. So maybe I also provide hair services. So I'm going to add hair salon and maybe this is also a hair extension technician. And we also might have hair removal services. So this is going to enable you to add your business into multiple different fields. And let's say this is also a eyebrow bar where I do mapping of eyebrows or so on and so forth. This is just categorization. The point that I'm trying to get across to you guys is make sure that your primary category is a direct illustration of the primary services that you provide. And you have also added all of your additional category. Now, make sure you're not just adding random categories. Make sure these are services that you actually provide 
each category that you add, you should have services in those categories to add those services. Once you have done that, just click on save and that is around it. So just like that, you can add multiple different business categories and this is going to be super helpful in getting you to rank higher for a specific query. So instead of putting myself in beauty salons, which might have, you know, hundreds and hundreds of search results, putting myself as a lash extension studio or a lash studio is going to be a lot more helpful for me to be able to, you know, differentiate my business and for the customers that are specifically looking for lash related businesses to find me on Google business listings. Now, in other ways that you can rank on Google is simply by going on Bright Local. So Bright Local is a platform that specializes in specific location specific SEO. Everyone does search engine optimization, but Google Maps is a platform that focuses on geographical locations. And that is why to make sure that you are optimizing your listing for the location that you are present in is super effective. So for this, you can use Bright Local. It is free for 14 days. And when you are setting up, if you don't wanna pay for anything, which I totally understand, if you don't wanna build a website, why would you want to pay for a SEO tool? What I actually recommend is once you set up your listing and once you have it verified, like my listing is verified over here, I recommend that once you have verified your listing, then you use the 14 day free trial on Bright Local and use these features to optimize your listing. And in those two weeks, you can easily optimize your listing and then your trial will expire, but you will have understood the basic SEO tips and you will have a good listing already created and you won't really need the tool as much. So this is just another tip I have for you guys to better rank yourself as a business on Google without your own website. Now, I do have a few tutorials on how to create your own website if you want to learn how to do that in the future and if in the future you want to actually build your own website for your business, do check those videos out. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video and make sure to also share this video with your friends friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites. So I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.